What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's head on over. Bolts from the blue. I'm gonna speak with Otto. Uh, before that, though, I want to go over here. Okay, so there's nothing. Oh, oh no, here we go. Blood of Fenrir. Launches several elementally charged orbs. Launches a healing R to mend. Uh, projects Torgal immediately in front of an enemy. Causing a damage dealing shockwave. Triggers multiple explosions in front, lifting all enemies in the air. Concentrate the moon's light on an enemy, forcing it to the ground. I wonder if this is like stuff we equip at some point. Blood of Fenrir. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm sure we're going to learn more about that, but for now, at least, let's speak to Otto. Actually, let's go over here real fast, see if I got any goodies from the things I've been doing. help you today, Clive? You are... Ooh, we are, we are a while away. Dire Wolf Jess. I wonder what that does. How are you doing? Quick look. Any side quests? Always something in there. Okay, let me tab over to the other area. do you? Anything catch your eye? Nope. All good. enough? Arthur, is now a good time? <laughs> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a marathon. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. I don't even know who you are. Mid. When did you get back? Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. I wonder right, if this is Sid's daughter. Right, you win. How long will he be talking about studies? Mitterdol Telemann. No Versed in the secrets of modern and fallen tech, as any scholar in the twins, it means to put that knowledge to service. What was what was Sidolphilus? I don't remember Sid's full name. Is it Sid Telemann? It was Sidolphus Telemann. Okay, so yeah, that is Sid's daughter. Dang this time. Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. Oh. That little... Clive's like, ah, I'm gonna dip out. The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Shouldn't you be getting some rest here? Took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. 
Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Mm. For me? Who else? The ultimate fetch quest. <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Yeah, well, it works out, because I wanted to go by Blackthorn and check out if I can uh, make a new sword with that piece of titan I got. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her back. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. What's she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Clive? What's saying for you, dear? Rhinestone. And when he lifted his fists, beneath him was naught but dust. Eleven bolt, earth shard, and meteorite. It is a small upgrade over what I have. Um, real fast, let me see. You know, I'm at 220 with that, so. No scratches, right? Hunter's waste cloth. Oh, well, I know where we get our gelatinous mass from. Still don't know where I get more scarletite, though. Anything else? I have a feeling maybe there's like a merchant I talk to and they sell it. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. There we go, just had to back away. Is it business or pleasure? You're rubbing me blind, you know. I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh. I'll be thankful you got that much. Master Sid? Hard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. Oh, I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Uh, Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. I kind of want to do that hunt, but I mean, God, 10 levels. I don't think I can pull that one off. Five levels, sure. 10 levels is pushing it. I mean, to be fair, that's why we put on the, uh, the thing. What's my other? Oh, yeah, my dodge thing. Okay. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. set stuff in the air. Yes, it can. Tomes when I get back to the base. See if he knows anything about Torgal's power. I mean, that, to me, that feels like the kind of thing that would you'd probably get like forcefully explained. Like something's gonna just open up, and you know, there's gonna be a long dialogue about it. But 
They did kind of mention tomes, and then I didn't go, so maybe. Hi. I bet the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? in a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Is there any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. So give me a chance to play with some of the new Titan stuff. Let me um I do like his ultimate. But for now, let me refund that. And I'm just gonna play with the other abilities a little bit. Let's see. So here, well, let's go um, wind up, which is now mastered. Upheaval. Oh, yeah, do this. This shouldn't take long. Wow, ah, lift it. So we got a good knock up on that and some solid damage. God, that's devastating. That's 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 nice for a counter. I wonder. Let's see. Oh, well, actually, this is something we can test a little bit later. So, vampire that cleared them completely out, and that did a solid amount. Say about sixty percent of itself. So much the stagger bar. Too 
24,000 and that's without the lightning thing on? And then going to gouge to finish the bar off. In terms of raw damage, that's that's too strong to. Ah man, now I gotta figure out what is it that I want to run. I need to go back to the base and I need to test. I want to see what uh, Titan's counter looks like versus Garuda's counter when they're both mastered. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. So, upheaval we are going to skip on. Not worried about that. Oh, forgot I was about to go to the base too. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I They're both really cool. And there's no reason I can't have both, but my concern is I want to obviously be able to maximize my damage. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her. Well, let me see. What are we at? Twenty-three minutes. Okay, let's go talk to mid first. That's probably gonna, you know, get us set up for the next mission, and then I can I can fool around. But so on one hand, I I really like the counters. They're they're flashy. They're solid damage. When you make the connection, they're big. At the same time, I feel like I need to have enough abilities on deck to really pump out damage when I get a stagger. So Charge Titan Punch does phenomenal there. Gouge does a really good job as well. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? I mean, Will of the Wikes is kind of right, more right. utility. Done, I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. Earth wind up. You should wind up cooldown time by three seconds. Breath of Earth. Breath of Earth. 
Is that the ultimate? No, it's Earth and Fury. What is Breath of Earth? Breath of Earth, wind up time. Hmm. It's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Oh, we got a bunch of quests popping up too. Ah, uh, Clive. Taya. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh. Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. Alright, well that... was the other thing I wanted to check out, so let's go do that real fast. I think what we'll do next episode, we'll, uh, we'll bang out the side quests. I'll do a little... Yeah. skill experimentation. And then if we're feeling extra saucy, maybe we try and take down that hunt. I know late game there's gonna be like, oh, it's a level 99 hunt. The heck you do, it's gonna be super stuff. I'm honestly really looking forward to the end game here. I'm having so much fun with the combat. Like 15's end game, I just petered out on. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the frost wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried <laughs> in my nuts. Phrasing. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <laughs> I shall be a moment. Why does she need me to do everything for her? I need you to go to the blacksmith. I need you to go to Karen. I need you to talk to the the carpenter. Like, talk to somebody yourself, you're a grown woman. Brilliant. It 
is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. <sighs> I think I'll wait till mid to waste take it to me. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure. Oh, God. <laughs> it's Uncle. <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the oven oh for my your God, favorite dude. uncle is here! <laughs> Man, we're getting hit with that lore block right now. Wait, twin side. Hold up. Where's where's twin side in Crystalline Dominion? It's one of the five remaining. It's kind. Is this the the area they? Okay, yeah. Once independent state straddling the continent. So this is what they captured. Okay. I was sitting there. I was like, "Holy Empire! That doesn't make any sense." We we their home went down to to crap. Former capital of the Crystalline Dominion after a unilateral maneuver by the Holy Empire, it became the Imperial capital. Yeah. I mean, it's very pretty. The Almechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye. And we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. It's so weird course, seeing that kid just hang on his possible mother possible constantly. Without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. 
Very good. It's like, you know that uh, that weird lady in Game of Thrones who was breastfeeding her kid even though he was like eight? Same vibes. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Leon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him, and while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. The student needs to go. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp, and await my orders. He's the... Is he a son? Yeah, Dion the Sage. If that is your wish, your Radiance... I shall depart at once. Really focusing on that flower. May Parika forgive you. Do the astrologers all go? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Annabella's the yeah. Her. made it back to the hub so let's wrap things up here uh before i go talk with him i'm going to do a little bit of experimentation i might just do that on my own that way we, we save some time on the next episode and we can focus on side quests and all that but either way more is coming your way so stay tuned and i'll catch you then